Hey, what's up? What's happening, guys? It's the Paintbrush, back with another video today. And today, I will be showing you guys a quick overview of the Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor 2. I got two packages in the other day, and well, I'm more than pleased with them. As a big fan of the Chuck, I have accumulated three, four, five pairs. Right now, I'm actually rocking the white ones out today of the original model, and I beat these things up like crazy, wear them all the time. And when I saw the Chuck was coming out with the second generation model, I was very, very excited about it. And I was a little uh, skeptical about it at first because I didn't know whether or not the Chuck would be looking any different or like what they're gonna do. I knew Nike took over Converse, which actually got me pretty excited. And then when I found out what they actually looked like and what else was new about them, I was even more impressed. So, First off, we got the black high top hair here. This is actually my first pair of high top chucks. I've always had the low tops. And when I saw pictures of these, I got really excited. These are actually my favorites out of all the colorways. And because as you see, in the original chuck, they have the stripes on here on the midsole. We got the red and the blue one on the low top here. And then for the second generation, they actually took out the stripes. So it's just a clean white midsole. And I'm really, really pleased with how these came out. I think this is a much sleeker look and more updated for the time period. I also have to say that the comfort on these is insane compared to the other Don't get me wrong, the Chuck's classic. Wear them all the time. But if I'm wearing for a long period of time or I'm walking or whatever, the feet are actually going to start to hurt. So, Lunarline insole. Lunarline is used in a bunch of different Nike shoes, runners, basketball, you name it. And I have these and a couple pairs of Kobe's of mine. And I love my Kobe's to death. I play them all the time. Ridiculously comfortable. And that's what you get with this. Thick midsole insert. Just slap right in there. And walk around these is going to be more enjoyable now. And it's going to make me want to keep them on my feet even more. Which is absolutely great. This is actually stitched into the side and boss. It's very nice to keep that on the inside. And then on the outside, just clean, black. Really like it. Can't go wrong. It actually came with an extra pair of white laces, but I think I'm going to just stick with the black because I really like the way this looks. Definitely in the fall, winter months, I might even throw them on a couple of days in the summer. Uh, it's going to look great with jeans and pants. Like, chinos cannot wait. Also, I got the high top white ones. And these, I think, are even more versatile than the black, even though I do like the black better. These are actually seen in movies all the time. And every time I see them in movies, I'm like, dang, these are actually really sweet with whatever outfit they got going on. I always think of this as kind of weird. As a big Zac Efron guy, I saw in uh, 17 again, he wore shots with every single outfit of his. And every time he had an outfit on, it always looked great. So, I got the great Chucks here. I really beat these up. I actually took these up to the mountains with me about a month ago. And these were going around in mud and everything. But I still love them. They still look great beaten up. And you can't go wrong. Also this summer, I actually picked up a pair of the Jack Purcell rendition of the Converse. And this is actually like a full grain leather upper. And I thought these would look better with shorts, but I'm actually probably gonna stick to these when it comes to the, the cooler months. So like fall, winter, you know, I think these are gonna look great with some like black denim, you know, anything like that. Can't go wrong with a white shoe, of course. So yeah, I picked both of these up. This one for finish line, this one for foot locker. I wanted to get them both from the same place, but the black one is like really popular, it sold out right away. I had to wait on these, so I figured I might as well wait to order these to order these. And they retail for $75, which is like a $20 and $30 price like from the originals. But that does not make me mad at all. You get the comfort level in these, the materials are actually better. They're not flimsy, you got this thick padded tongue in here, tongue in here with a solid canvas material. You got a Chuck Taylor hitting there. And everything's pretty much exactly the same, but they just really upgraded it to make it more modern, contemporary, and just better for everyday wear. And I'm really excited about these. I'm probably gonna end up getting the low top models as well. I wouldn't be surprised. And I'm sure they're gonna come out with an array of other ways to Chuck 2, seeing how successful it was just on its first week of launch. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Chuck 2. If you guys picked it up, if you didn't pick it up, if you still like the first generation model better than the second one, you know, just let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please comment, like, subscribe. All right, guys, that'll do it for the quick overview of the Chuck 2, what may be the most iconic shoe of all time, most versatile, you name it. It's a fantastic model. Can't go wrong. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all next time.